Mm-hmm. I would think mm-hmm. you, you of all people have like the best use case out of all of us for game scope because you have the problem where the games start on the vertical monitor. This stops that from happening, right? Like, so yeah, I just quit playing this game. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that's Jordan, that's Sandy, and together with you, Shant Realm Dynamic, Jordan is live on Twitch, helping us form. Can I hit all the buttons? Maybe. Go, 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 go. Mash them buttons like it's Street Fighter, baby. Oh man, that's what I do, <laughs> baby. That is what I do. We got a bunch of interesting things to talk about this week week and um i just want to start off with i i I noticed the internet lost its collective shit because youtube's getting rid of the downvote numbers Ooh, boo! Ooh. yeah 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 no. oh no we're, we're, we're talking about this before we went uh before we went live the uh the the, the critical feature that is the youtube downvote right i don't uh, if you go to our youtube you would genuinely think the world's ending over there that is like <laughs> It, it, YouTube's completely on you. Do you, Sandy? I, I, I don't know. I, I typically do not check how many likes or dislikes something has on it. Then again, I, I'm. it could just be me. I don't typically look for like, hey, is this good or not? I don't see that as rating so much. No. Uh, it's a, this weird concept. The content will determine whether something's good or not, or how long people are actually watching said content or listening to said content is what determines know. whether people are watching or not. The thing for me is I've seen, I it just Don just, yeah, I've seen a bunch of YouTubers and like, yeah, this is something lined up for the AI. And it's like, Hey, we can make more money if we get rid of this. That's all this is like, yep. uh, mm. this, okay. I, I, what I'm focused on is like, does this affect me? No, no, God, no. no. Like I've maybe downvoted in my whole YouTube lifetime, maybe five videos, five, mm. six videos. Oh, you have to be doing something very, very egregious for me to yeah, interact hit the button. With. Yeah. And I'm not talking about that. Either one, man. The uh, only time I think I literally use the, the thumbs down button is in YouTube music. When I don't want to hear a band that came up, I'm like, I don't like these guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, don't, 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 don't show them to me anymore. I don't, I don't want to listen to their shit. And if the like Google, that, yeah, if the YouTube AI is to be believed, that's it. When you hit down, it that, only that, affects your recommendations. Yeah. That, so, that's, that's the purpose. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, man. Oh, another thing I did, I powered up the, uh, raspberry Pi zero W two and, uh, kind of prototyping some stuff with the stream deck. Cause I want to do a little um, fun project, but I've kind of run into a nasty thing. Like I probably need to buy a little cheap 3d printer, but. Ah, yeah. so that's what that was about in discord. People were talking about 3d printers. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. man, do I, do I need that in my life? Cause I do have a 3d printer, but I have the original made out of laser cut wood maker bot man. And that thing did no. <laughs> So it's, a little, it's a little long in the 3D printed tooth. It is. I, I was talking about Wednesdays. Apparently, the, you know, innovations have happened in the decade plus since I've last looked into 3D printing. And uh, you can get like a little, uh, you know, some of the, like the plates like 250 by 250 by 270, like under two, like 200 bucks for a nice one. Yeah, see, yeah. I, I, I I know where the stencil files are for the Dungeons and Dragons monster manual. So I'm staying the fuck away from 3D printers. I, <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Because I'd be making a whole bunch of like Final Fantasy miniatures all the time. This, this, so it's like, no, I can't. I can't. This, this is where I'm at, man. Because I'm either one time, like, I'm going to print this one thing. I'm going to work on that, get it sliced up, print it, and be done with it. Or I'm going to do that. Then the brain's going to you need to justify this. We need to print. Oh, so, so you, you start combining hobbies. Like, what if I start 3D printing my own vape shit? <laughs> <laughs> man, like, I don't even think that would interest me. I'd be like doing gear. Oh, it's. I'm thinking about that. I, I don't know. There be dragons. There be dragons. What do you like? Oh, you did the Fedora 35 dance because you're you're running all Wayland and Pipewire now. Uh no. <laughs> this box is running uh Fedora 35 and is still running Pulse Audio no. and still running X. Because you know, you know what? Credit to where credit is due. Fedora does not just like fuck you and throw you hide and dry. There's still updated Pulse Audio, there's still updated Jack. Um it's pretty. It's like one command to switch between the two. It's pretty easy. Uh, yeah. So I, I upgraded all the boxing from thirty four to thirty five. Uh, 
no issues, no issues at all. Well, except except for one, you can watch the pre pre super shows and for the breakdown of that. But that was my own damn fault for trying to rescue a system. <laughs> and like, oh, I didn't clean up after myself. This is this is not Fedora's fault. I fucked this up myself. But I, I, I was I was thinking about this too. Like, at least I have the tools to fix it. If this was like a Windows or Mac install, I gotta reinstall. Man, I'm fucked. <laughs> Well, I mean, if anybody's been keeping track of uh, the the Linus kid, you know, not that one, the squeaky one, um, the that that is very much their that that is the Windows mentality, though. New can pave, new can pave. Uh, yep. No, no, no real. But to your point, is there really a way to salvage a borked? There, there, there is, but it's not like as straightforward as say like ch rooting into an existing install and like running some package updates or editing a file. It's all. Mm. it's all it's all utility driven oh the mm-hmm. the 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 other fun thing that happened this this week is i woke up this morning to a busted ass furnace so uh i get to change all that stuff over in the coming week well, what's oh. the uh, temperature well i mean at least it's coming we were talking about that it's better than like january the, isn't it yeah in the, in the in the middle of february where my pipes are frozen yeah fuck no yeah like beginning of november when it's still warm is the best time for my heater to fail hmm because at least then it's e- it's easy to get fixed, but that's yeah, man, fucking home ownership. That was that was the first half of the day just being completely stressed out about that. Uh, Sandy, I heard that you've not done a thing, but in fact, you've done a things. Yes, I've done a great many things. I've had new appointments with new case managers. Well, I have an, an appointment coming up. But I got an email from a new case manager for Veterans Affairs. Uh, had done work with my social worker on Remembrance Day. And she's like, oh, we got to call a bunch of places. But we can't because <laughs> nothing is open on Remembrance Day. And I was like, well, that was productive. Well, Great. I, I, I don't good know. good session. Have, they make a time to re- reach over and like uh, drop that needle and jagged little pill. And Yeah. <laughs> I try. I tried to warn her. I really tried to warn her a week in advance. I'm like, nothing's gonna happen. But she never answers my emails, so it's just like, yeah. Well, I don't answer your emails either. So I've nobody been, answers yeah. my emails. It's weird. Not even my daughter answers my emails. That's I don't know what That's it because is. Because you think emails think are face. notes tied to bricks thrown through windows. <laughs> well, aren't they? Yeah. No. It's electronic. Those are th- those are those are B mails. Oh no! See, you, that's illiteracy. You, you scream beep beep. <laughs> what do you throw it? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's like that. What the the one redeemable bit from Agents of Shield, Shield season one? I need to ish, initiate a large file transfer. Okay, oh, what's the format? And he just that, like kicks the giant filing cabinet out the window. That was, <laughs> I believe, the first episode of that. I because I, that that was the one I was given a curiosity watch. Yeah. yeah, well done, well yeah. done. Yeah, I like, I the like it. A little bit like the horse. The horse isn't well done. It's very rare. It's blue. It's the steel mock. Linux. Update. Update. That's That's a a really ow. (laughs) See, I have the control (laughs) surface over here, right? And I got to hit buttons in order to trigger that. And normally it's real easy because it's three people. And But now we're we're down to Pedro. So now I got to do that and that. (laughs) <laughs> ah, ah, ah it, it's it's the shocker i see but, but i gotta do it with Shocking. this hand and like the, the spocker i don't it's terrifying the spocker tell me about Yo, so the decks on yeah a, yeah so a big shocker the the steam deck is now going to be delayed by two months what? so anybody who had yes so any due to the chip shortage weird uh allegedly plus supply and demand allegedly um, so a lot of the reservations that people had, so anybody who was the early bird and who ended up, uh, being tabled for December for their release, uh, is now pushed back to February 2022. Um, and other people who were February are now pushed back to April, I believe. So <laughs> everyone's moved back. I don't know, man. I mean, this does about. suck for everyone that thought they were going to get one for the holidays or somewhere around that point. And I know the emails went out in mass, like when this was announced. And but I, I got kind of got to commend Valve because they, they're trying to start this new trend, uh, something that both AMD and NVIDIA take notes. Uh, they're going to try to have a product in stock before they sell it. I mean, it's crazy times, man. 
Nah, nah, man. Everything's got to be on back order. Well, you know, it's it's been a while since we've had to deal with some authentic Southern down home style valve time. So, um, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, like, let, let, let's let's be real. The November, the December timeline was highly optimistic, and we all knew that going in. Um, and like Cindy, Cindy, you you brought it up earlier in the week in Discord. Like, it means that they got a lot more orders than they thought they were going to have to deal with. So people are. W- People are way more interested in the deck than uh, their initial forecast, or you know, so my, it seems. Yep. My, we all tuned in for the um, live stream, for the deck live stream. When was that? Thursday? Yeah, we, we, uh, we yesterday. We, it was oh, yesterday. Oh, it was was oh, it yeah, yesterday? Yes, I yeah. thought it was yesterday. Could have been. Uh, what is time? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> you, know, you might have noticed that uh, may, maybe you went, hmm, wait a minute. Uh, this is not on the Steam Twitch channel. This is not on the Steam Mute. Uh, Steam's going to host, oh, their video thing. And that shit was down the entire time. Like they might have, they might have squeezed out a combined total of like two, two and a half minutes between the loading and then the page defaulted to nothing. Chat was lively. That was interesting. Yeah, and like an yeah, hour, yeah, was an hour lively. into like the big important announcement when Valve was like, you know what? Let's test our homebrew video CDN <laughs> delivery system with a very important thing that's probably going to have more people trying to watch it than anyone, com- everyone combined that's ever used our. A lot of people are like what Steam you has streaming. I'm like yeah, you can watch people stream games. Like ha huh, til. Yeah, that just ate shit. It, it, it was oh, yeah. rough. Like I, I was on um, Twitter, and I'm like, hey, you know, some engineer was like, hey, can we use a uh, YouTube? And another one's like, no, we got YouTube at home. YouTube at home was that dumpster fire. Eventually, uh, like an hour later, they kicked everything over to YouTube, which was a marginal improvement because they were like, uh, here's ten minutes, followed by forty five minutes of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about that music. L- oh my l- god! Listen, the waiting in the elevator, music was horrible. Mel- elevator music that will haunt your dreams. <laughs> Val- Valve, Valve has been saying like, "Oh, you can use Steam streaming over Wi-Fi." Well, this is proof that you cannot do that. This, yeah, listen, man, <laughs> ma- remote play together, not even once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Developing for Steam Deck without a dev, yeah, game, that's impossible. Yeah. You may have uh, attempted to watch that video and failed like I did, uh, but there is a lovely little article on the uh, Steam community and Steam Deck testing website. So it's a little article on how to approximate a Steam uh, Oh Steam my Deck. God, look at that money. Uh, with a, with, without, without a Steam Deck. So they they, uh, they price it out for you too. They're like, yeah, you can get this uh, 800p monitor on Amazon for like 60 bucks. You can get, um, you can get a recent AMD APU like, mini PC for a couple for like six to $800, depending on, uh, I, I do, I do appreciate the bananas for scale and the Dr. Pepper cans. Yeah. That's uh mm-hmm. very nice. But ba- basically what they're saying is set up Manjaro, uh, install steam, install the, um, install the steam deck client. Cause now they have a new development tool that will allow you to just push builds directly to, the, to whatever is running steam, uh, gives you some debugging tools, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah, as long as you can get it running at, uh, 800 P at 60 or at 30 on a Linux box, that's running an AMD APU. You're kind of in the clear. They do so go and say, I, I do want to say like a hardware recommendation. Uh, what do they have? Ryzen seven, 3750 H. Cause they had some back and forwards on like, yes, maybe the CPU is a little more powerful and the GPU is a little weaker because you know, RX Vega 10 graphics. Yeah. But they said it's a very, very close approximation yeah. of what you're going to get with mm-hmm. the steam deck. Yeah, indeed. Um, they did say though, that if you're going to be testing on Manjaro like this, that you're not going to get gamepad UI or game scope. I think I don't, I don't believe that's true. I think it's probably a little more effort than you could probably describe in this article to actually get that set up. Um, and that probably behooves like more dedicated development, um, dedicated, uh, development, uh, skills and tasks. Um, they are saying though, that they're going to be releasing an image of steam OS three that can be installed on any computer, but Hey, this, this this is what you need to do if you can get it running at 800p at that hardware profile. You more or less are good to go. How many nanoseconds do you think it took for that little monitor to sell right the f- out? <laughs> is I, uh, I thought it was for like Raspberry Pis or some man, shit. Like it's it's, 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 it's itty bitty. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, gone. yeah, that's tiny. Because you know like, what? We get we got a Steam Deck at home. I get some duct tape. We can we can make one. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Absolutely do it. <laughs> Actually, that, that's a spoiler for the news section. Baby. Oh, man. Yeah. So, we, we, 
Yeah, I mean, that's pretty neat. I mean, it's good that you can, you know, because let's face it, you know, they did say, hey, we're going to be taking our second round of um, requests from developers for dev kits, and there's going to be a second revision of the dev kit. And through this entire time, I'm trying to watch this. Pedro is insistently posting a picture, a zoomed in picture, Strider level zoomed in picture of that white Steam Deck in the background. That is some prototype that they finally addressed just to shut everyone up. Like, what is, oh my God. <gasps> what is that portal colored Steam Deck you have back where, where, there? Oh, where, this where is, is my worry Chrome about this Steam Deck. Dude, I, yeah. I, I, actually, I, I'm wondering what kind of case mods they're actually going to get up to once the thing gets released. Man, people are going to go crazy with oh, that. Oh, for thing sure. Then. But 100%. I mean, it's out there. You can roll your own. And I mean, that's good, you know, especially if you're a small studio and you know, like, man, they're probably never going to send me one. Or if you're in a country that they're like, yeah, we're, we're uh, probably not going to be able to get a dick to you what? in a uh, reasonable time, mm. Australia. What one, one bit I did, I was able to catch of the, of the stream while it was live was they were talking about like various testing methodologies and they actually bring, brought up like virtual machines and they're like, yeah, don't, don't. test in virtual machines. Yeah. Like it's good for don't. testing input, but you want a GPU to actually like validate the shit. And that's what we're going to be testing. Well, against. here's so, another thing. Valve, that's a well and good for the past uh, 10 years nine years of uh that's how a lot of stuff was getting validated by development now it's a problem ah yeah well now now, now they're hiring people to do it so <laughs> shit yeah now, now they're putting their money where their mouth is so good news everyone good news uh proton experimental something i didn't notice uh this is from espionage 7240008 on linux underscore gaming there is a more human than human version of Proton Experimental. There's regular Proton, but there's Proton Experimental, which is the more cutting edge version. But inside of that, there's a drop down menu for the betas for Bleeding Edge. Now, this also goes for um, Soldier, and uh, you can update that as well. Now, I, I do want to express uh, you know, if you think Proton Experimental, it's working, you're like, man, this is boring. Update it. That'll fix it real quick. Um, it is really, really experimental. Like even the new DLSS stuff that I will be talking about in a little bit. None of that. None of that was working correctly. I mean, it has got like the bleeding edge uh, DXVK and everything else that you can think of. Uh, I would, however, recommend if you're running the beta client for Steam itself to update uh, the runtime to the beta. It even tells you to recommend it. Which I'm gonna go up. Where was this instruction? Yeah. Uh, like all, all of the, all of the Proton versions are like downloaded as their separate Steam app. So they all do have their own beta depots and whatnot. I was fucking around with that. Like I was mentioning in the previous super shows, but to Ven's point, yeah, this is like running rawhide back in 2009 before Fedora got all <laughs> relatively stable. Yeah. Use, use this at your own peril, right? Like um, Pro Proton Experimental is bleeding edge enough. If you, if you want like whatever get build bot is shitting out, then maybe. Mm -hmm. But um, what, what, one one thing I would be interested in is uh, trying it with um, with Soldier because that's that's where they're pushing out all the pressure vessel stuff. So yes, I definitely play around with it. But let's talk about the latest version of Proton Experimental, which I've been playing around with. I, I was very excited to see a couple of enhancements. Now here's something I know some people are going to be very excited. A select battle I games have been enabled in this, and that's fine. The Sims 3 Victoria 2 launcher crashes. I don't know if there's a fix for that. But, but, support for DX11 and DX12 games. Now, this is like double guarded. You got to put in the Proton Enable NV API, and you got to do the uh, NV API hack equals false, which means that you have to go into the games directory, create a DXVK.com, and put that in there. I'm like, double sure, like something's going to explode? Come on. But... You probably say to yourself, man, but that's already been a thing. Then you did a video on DLSS with uh, Wolfenstein, and like that was only for Vulcan. Mm. That's only worked with Vulcan. Now it works with DX11, works with DX12, which also means, yo, tombs. It works with the Tomb Raiders, baby. And uh, this was kind of interesting because they have just, like in the past month in October, went back and added DLSS 2.0 to the second Tomb Raider game. Mm. So I was able to test that. R and, rise of. Yeah, the rise and shadow of the Tomb Raider, both on my 2060. In here, here you can see this is running at 1440p mm -hmm. with okay. um, the DLSS on like quality or balance. It, 
you would have to get real picky on this. And you're talking about, you know, we're running it through Proton again, but we're going from tapping out like 58 to 60 to 80s. So yeah. it's like an extra 20 FPS with, like if you squint, you might be able to see some differences. Now uh, head over to LinuxTeamCast.com and it'll be the first post up currently right now. You can kind of tell like, well, here you can very much tell. If you look at the foliage in the background, mm-hmm. you can oh, see. Okay. Yeah, that goes from like, oh, it's nice and sharp to, ooh, but what's in focus stays pretty decent. And with the older Tomb Raider, like this one, you'd be hard pressed. You'd be hard pressed. And then again, you're dealing with like 99 to 104. But, you know, from something that's barely playable, like 60s tapping out, because here's what I'm doing. I'm running around just putting everything at UHD at 2160p. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. And just cutting the DLSS to fugly hyper performance just because it's fun. Mm. But here's the real use case. When you have something like, um, if you have a video card like really designed for 1080p gaming or 1440p gaming, and it can get away with like medium, this is going to let you get away with like just slamming everything over to 11, like ultra quality. Oh, oh yeah. This, this is going to be very useful because like, Top end video cards are just out of people's price points now. Yeah, you gotta be able to, yeah. yeah, you you gotta be able to squeeze out whatever you can with the limited hardware you have. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 good to see this. Um, good to see that. Um, you know, you you can actually get some like decent uh, performance improvement here. Yeah, I mean, mm. yeah, and listen, man, for the I, I, that video, everyone's welcome for all the shaders I've cooked for Tomb Raider over the past two days. Uh, <laughs> here's here's what I wanted to bring up as discussion though. Because for the longest time, we had to wait on Feral. Feral was synonymous with Tomb Raider on Linux. You know, if there's a Tomb Raider game, we're like, yeah, once Feral getting around to it, and it was usually like a year and a half later. And the latest one, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, was Feral coming out saying, hey, our indirect X, we can now leverage Vulcan. And it was very performant, ran very well. And it had the performance lead, even until, you know, if you'd asked me last month, you know, that that lead is getting smaller and smaller and smaller as Proton is getting better and better and better, but it was still there. Mm-hmm. At least on NVIDIA, this kind of wrecks the equation now because there's no like arguably thing. To, it's like I can run the game faster at a higher quality mm-hmm. using Proton now with DLSS. Now, I'd like to play around with like the Fidelity FX, which I, my brain wants to call Trust FX. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the other thing, Andy. Open source. Yeah, I know. I and, uh, just just want to compare. But what I've seen from that, that's kind of like DLS S 1.0, but it's open source and it works with everything under Linux anyway. So, uh, yeah, it's just like weird times, man. It's weird times. I, I was thinking of like a little por- porn one out for Feral on this one. I'm like, well, I mean, thanks. Thanks, buddies. That's that's OK. Those iPad sales will keep them afloat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And switch. Yeah. But do you think the DLSS will work with a, a game like Sky Harrier? I, I mean, you're, you're going to need some like hardcore mode seven for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And speaking of mode seven. So, yeah, Sky Harrier Alpha Code is a uh, brand new like SNES rail shooter style game. It's, Very reminiscent to like. Yeah, it's essentially Star Fox. You know, it's got like the rocking out the mode seven. It's made by uh developer Ninja Tux. Uh nin ninja nin tux. Ninja in a <laughs> so tux. Was, yeah. It doesn't like it doesn't look anything amazing. It brings back like all the, the classic style rail shooter tropes. Um the targeting is kind of weird. Like normally when you play a game like this, you have the targeting based off of uh like where you're actually like pointed. I guess this is uh this is what you get, you know. So it's supposed to be coming out later on this year, at the end of this year. But uh, I don't know. Like, I I'm already waiting for Exodiac, which is going to be coming out. Oh, which oh, is oh, oh, Exodia impossible. Wait, no, that's next. Do time. you that's think you can sell yeah. this, man? Single player on rail shooter featuring aerial combat in 2021 is the nostalgia and the CRT shaders strong enough. I don't, depends on the price point, really, because they don't they don't have one listed. Okay, and if yeah. it if it Wait is anything, so you're telling me it's two different games at five ninety nine. This is a fun fucking game, but at uh, fifteen ninety nine, yeah. 
it's yeah that, that, that that's pretty much it like if this is priced over ten dollars this will not sell well at all no um so yeah ho- ho- hopefully they uh price it for uh they price it competitively otherwise this will get no sales i mean uh, it but- runs on an intel i3 man so <laughs> Yeah, or a 2200G. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you just need an integrated GPU. That's, that's right. I mean, you, you, you need, need a Super you Nintendo. Could, that's that's what you need. No. Yeah, you, exactly. You could say uh, it's a wait and shoot on this. Huh? He tries. Yeah. His mom loves him. <laughs> no, 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 she doesn't. That's, that's, no, she doesn't. Not, Let's get real here. Right. All. <laughs> all right. Well, coming up next, exciting news. There's a brand new NVIDIA driver out that you can maybe try and get running with x Wayland's. Well, now that we finished the Steam news, it's time for the news. I didn't news. tell you to do a clap test. What's that? Oh, everyone's supposed to do a clap test. I thought that's the thing. You yeah, know? but you got to go to the hospital. <laughs> well, the doctor said I was good to go. You know, the doctor said I was good to go. That was part of the news it, it, news. Listen, it was a very <laughs> weird situation because Sandy walked up. He had his like, clothes off and the doctor was like, no, I just wanted to get the AV sick, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> well, it's like, no, it's it's more like, welcome to the news section. Here's some news. I have hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best kind. <laughs> Man, yeah, if, if uh, I, I, I don't even know how I'm going to transition out of that. Go to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. <laughs> uh, become, become a Patreon. You get some cool stuff like access to our Discord channel, which you can also get by subbing to us via Damn Twitch. I got maybe, one. Ma- I got one. Maybe, maybe don't do Twitch Prime. We have some people in Twitch chat having some problems with that. So what just do a regular. Say is the clap's not cheap. The clap ain't cheap. Penicillin, yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but yeah. Dollar an episode gets you access to the Discord channel. Uh, two two fifty an episode gets you access to the show notes where you can make suggestions. You can um, issue corrections. You get to just sort of watch our Google Doc congeal over the course of the week. Dude, and if you you're into it, creeping, that's the way to do yeah. it. And I mean, it's creeping, creeping with optional participation. Creep, creep participation. Right. That's that's Partici- that's creeping. what we're looking for. Participation. creeption. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you get you get other cool stuff by being a member of the Patreon. You can listen at any level to the pre pre super shows. But if you want that cool video feed and exclusive RSS feed, you gotta be an executive producer. You get your name in the credit. You got a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, you can I do even buy give your way. A reminder though, um, we have a live and uncut YouTube channel now. So uh, oh yes, that's yes, right. You get yes. that. Uh, I, I'm not big on paywalls, man. I mean, we still got to eat, but a week after, that you know, it's going to be a week late, but. It's going to be for free. It's on YouTube and you can watch the whole thing. It's there. But if you want podcast format or if you want the uncut stuff the next day, that's how you get it. You know, kick some yeah. cheddar. Linuxgame.cash. Linuxgame.cash. <laughs> Are you buying that URL? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we, 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 got a, we got a store. Store.linuxgamecast.com. Cover yourself. Cover your shame. Can I do a multiple Cover your redirect? family. <laughs> yes. Um, Co- cover whatever erections you may have with Linux Game Cast Apparel. We got stickers. We got fanny packs. We got uh, masks. We got uh, we we got hoodies. We got coffee cups, and you know, t-shirt. You can have a you can you have, have me in your use cleavage. Me shirt. You could. I do have a use me shirt. I found where it is. I fucking found it. Okay. It was in my nice. garage. Um, uh, you know where all shirts belong. I didn't know you uh, had a garage. I do have a garage. Yes. What it, is in there? Uh, right now, mm. trash. Wow. Mm. Mm-hmm. Classic there, choice. There, Classic choice. We, so, fun, so it's, it's it's one of those things where like we need to actually seal the garage before we can like put a car in there because it's leaky and don't want carbon monoxide. Anyways, if you if, you know if you want home improvement talk, you got to check out the pre pre super shows and that's where all that shit happens. Um, yeah, we got store wish list. We got wish list. Go to linuxgamecast.com, Put your mouse over the support button. Go to the wish list. I have one. Jill has one. Pedro has one. Ven has one for the studio. You buy some stuff off there. You can send us a little note. We got to read it on the air. Horrible you idea. Send, why would we horrible ever do idea. this? Because we're idiots. Fair. And if you want to, uh, and if you want to send Ven some stuff, you get your name on the blinky wall. It's the, it's the dream Don't come true. Tell them about that. All right, fine. Ignore ignore that. Delete that from your brain. Control Z. <laughs> Control Z. <laughs> Control Z, damn it. Right. Uh, we we, we got we to thank some people for uh, giving us some games this week. I got to thank Patrick Finney Mir for uh, sending me a copy of Deep Rock Galactic. Now, here's here's the here's the ultimate strat. Um, you start a Linux gaming podcast 10 years ago, mm. and, and it's a surefire way to make sure that you get games that are not on your wish list. Yes. <laughs> We have the best fucking audience in the world. They don't give us games; they inflict them upon us. Yeah, yeah exactly. you're you're you're, you're, pl- 
that, 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 that's one of the that's one of the pros of the Patreon process is you know if you just buy us the game, you can be like, yo, you're playing this with me on the stream. That that that's pretty much how it works. I mean, it's worked <laughs> multiple times. Uh, I do want to thank yeah. uh, one Mr. Fox Dog for a game that I absolutely would have never bought. Uh, Cyber, I wouldn't say Cyber Truck. It's uh, what is it? E- yeah. e- Elon Musk Cyberfunk. Yes. Yeah. Uh, s- <laughs> shit. What is it? What's the actual name of the game? Goddamn. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Yes. Yeah. But I do want to thank you for that um, because I'll be able to play around with it, with the DLSS and ray tracing and all the other stuff that my super overpowered 2060 will just crush. Now, now here, here, here's the thing. Do you think enough time has passed that they have patched out all the jank or is it just fucking janktastic still? I don't know. I, I, I did get it to launch yesterday. I, I went so far as like, all right, does this thing have a benchmark? No. Well, uh, I'll, I'll get back to that. Yeah, it's it's called running it on your PlayStation. <laughs> oh man, I, I, <laughs> I, I said it to like 1080p and get everything on low, and it was like I can almost get to 40. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man, it looked nice. No, the a lot of the a lot of the jank is still in the game. Like I played it, what was it recently, like a month ago? Okay, and I the, some of the physics still goes wonky in that game. Nice. But like well, and, and plus you know some flickering, but which I, is a great segue. For the the oh. next article, which is the big Nvidia Flicker Flicks, Flicker Flicks, flicker flicks. flicking, flicking, fucking flicks. flicker, fucking flickers. <laughs> but yeah, the latest version of the fucking Nvidia Four Seventy Dot Eight Six has released, and uh, one of the big fixes is that it uh, fixes uh, the regression prevented with the DisplayPort HDMI Two Point Zero uh, variable refresh rate which is causing a lot of uh, flickering issues, especially with the G-Sync on. I just like going over to the supported products and looking at all the shit you can't buy. I know. Yep. <laughs> well, we, 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 we had a bit of a chat in uh, in Discord this week about fucking legacy drivers for NVIDIA and like try, try, trying to figure out where everyone's specific models were. But, the, the yeah, because Pedro drivers, Mateus so. is like, hey, I got this netbook from 1830 and... Um, <laughs> Actually, actually, I think I think I think it was Love Shock, and then I think Pedro piggybacked on that bandwagon. Oh, okay. Mm, Pedro was very that proud that right. this antique Nvidia Atom thing up and running. Ion, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Like, why? <laughs> well, well, he, the the boy's not got much else going on in his life. Got to give him I, a small. I, I guess, grace. man. I guess. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's going to fix some stuff. With the release highlights and that that's pretty much it. Uh, there's an option for no um, peer. It, it, I, I, yeah. I looked it up. I looked it up. Okay. It's for network GPUs. Ah. Uh, if, if, it's like a Mellanox thing for right. uh, for uh, GPU piping. Infinite band type network. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Neat. 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 Because I never. Well, I never understood what the variable refresh rate was for. Like it would. Like I never. It's, it, it's for folks it. that can't hit hit sixty but want to feel like they do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fair. I don't that's know. Fair. I mean. Okay. Here we go. It was like your senior moment. I went over to a friend's house. I was 100 and 120, 140, whatever, because <laughs> everyone's like, oh, you just don't understand. You got to try it. Sit down. I'm like, all right, give me the cursor. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, how much more was that? Yeah, no. Mm-mm. So, yeah. I mean, I we will all eventually get high refresh rate monitors and stuff like that once they become the, well, you can't buy anything that isn't. I, I, I don't know. G- given how Nvidia is pricing shit, I don't think I I don't foresee myself ever being able to afford a G Sync monitor. Oh no, but you you have a free sync G Sync type supported type. Um, mm-hmm. and you know free syncs and everything now because yeah, it doesn't cost anything. And and, like, and, and uh, this dude right here has a free sync. Yep, even this uh like thirteen or fourteen inch monitor monitor that I have on the desk is like, yeah, it does free sync. And really? I'm like, do, 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 do you think that little 800 P monitor can do free sync? Oh, it better. Maybe. <laughs> it's like, this thing doesn't have HDR. This is bullshit. Yeah. Just yeah. knock it off the desk. <laughs> Just suck it. Man. Get out of here. Ah, uh, but you know, you know, speaking of NVIDIA, yep. uh, we've been, we've been waiting. We've been wishing, we've been hoping, we've been praying and it's finally here, baby. Uh, from the Xorg mailing list, the link to this is in our show notes. Uh, we have xwayland.21.1.3, 
What does it mean? It will support the NVIDIA GBM EGL stuff that was released in the previous driver that we talked about last week and the beta driver that was last week. So actually, um, this isn't too groundbreaking because this is they essentially slapped a version number on the head on Git. So if you were if you were building uh, X Wayland from source, you likely had the stuff in here already, but it's officially up for your distros to consume. Uh, I've fucked around with it. Ven had better support than I did. I could, I got Weston launching. I could not get any X apps launching in Weston. Uh, I was really hoping to get GameScope, but I did a little bit of research on that. Um, hmm. GameScope needs uh, VK underscore EXT underscore image underscore DRM underscore format underscore modifier <gasps> to be thing. implemented by NVIDIA before GameScope even has a fucking hair's chance of working. Apparently that is not uh, that extension isn't in the NVIDIA drivers, so no game scope for Jordan. Set. I don't know. I mean, um, I well, I guess we're just gonna have to find out how and how grumpy NVIDIA is about not being on the decks. Um, hmm. yeah. uh, they'll get around to adding it once the leather jackets have fun or whatever. <laughs> but uh, you know to w- what you're saying. I'm kind of betting that it'll probably be ready and go. Uh, by the time Debian 12 rolls around eventually in a couple of years. In, so. in 2030, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 2030. <laughs> but, I mean, here's what I put in the notes, though. And that that's with the modifier of, like, unless GameScope just does something incredible, amazing, I'm like, all right, then we're going to be building stuff and we'll get it See, up and working. I- Mm-hmm. I would think mm-hmm. you, you of all people have like the best use case out of all of us for game scope because you have the problem where the games start on the vertical monitor. This stops that from happening. Right. Like, so yeah, I just quit playing this game. So <laughs> well, you, uh, now you can, now you there, have, the you can option. save time now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's an efficiency. It, 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 listen, man, it, it's a built in efficiency enhancement of XFCE and next one. No, well, I, I, I mean, it's not going to save the game we're throwing shares at this week. No. No. Um, God, no. So but not, yeah. Yeah. What? Huh? So, what? SDL. What about it? There's a, never heard of it. What? Nope. Have you never heard of it? Mm-mm. This is the greatest invention since sliced bread. So, if you're a fan of Ryan C. Gordon, the master of Who? SDL. What? <laughs> get, get out of here. Leave. No. Go. Stop the stream right hey, now. Some get, like, get a nerd that likes mayonnaise. Right? Yeah, nerd. Yeah. So mayonnaise sandwiches. If you're a Patreon yeah. supporter of him, he just or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's he's done a few things, a few major things. So uh, recently on his uh, Patreon page, if you're a Patreon supporter, he uh, just announced that he's doing a top secret, epic, uh, mega grant work with uh, Epic Games. So. They're Top doing secret, like yes, mm-hmm. yes. Which weird enough, he's posting on Patreon, so it's like <laughs> it's not really that top secret. But uh, yeah, so this huge grant. So essentially, what it is is like uh, they're pretty much trying to make SDL two uh, run better on 3D games, and I believe that they're shooting for more of an API uh, so, usage in so- 3D games. Is what I so, understood. So what, what's ha- what's happening here is um, SDL2 has a very basic 2D renderer. Uh, Ryan compares it to yes. a Super Nintendo on steroids. Um, but in a lot of the in a lot of the SDL2 talks, they're like, okay, yeah, you can draw a window like this, blah blah blah. If you need 3D acceleration, you should not you should not be trying to do this through SDL. You should be trying to do this through OpenGL, which is bad advice because OpenGL is. Well, pe- people have opinions on OpenGL. Let's just leave it at that. Um, but because, um, but uh, because modern graphics APIs like Metal DX12 Vulkan, uh, all the all the actual special sauce is handled by the shaders themselves. So if you can really just provide an interface for developers to submit their shaders through in a in in a relatively simple interface, you can get basic 3D stuff working through um, through SDL2 without having to create a shit ton of boilerplate code, which is typically what happens in these projects. All right. Um, so you know, here's yeah. the thing, though. I, I mean, I'm looking at it. So SDL is going to create effectively that cross-platform GPU API that is going to just work. You're not going to have to deal with it. And I know, I know we've talked a lot about Vulkan, right? I'm like, Hey, Mm -hmm. Vulkan, it's the thing. And you know, Vulkan's neither because you know, you do need that thousand lines of code, man, just to get that triangle up on the screen. And, uh, another issue with Vulkan, like it's low enough leveled where you're going to spot differences and have to deal with differences between like NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. I mean, that's the reality of it. That's the power Mm -hmm. of it, but that's also the reality of it. And, um, you know, isn't this kind of like BGFX? Maybe I'm not, I'm not too super familiar with BGFX. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, this I, I, this is pretty reminiscent of the uh voodoo graphics. No, 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 babies. I'm talking about the cross platform. Br- br- bring GPI your own agnos- Yeah, engine framework. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I I, 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 don't, I, don't think, yes. I don't I don't think this is looking to outright replace it. It's just like here's a here's something you can shove your shaders to and SDL will figure it out. But but again, it always boils down to if you need more advanced shit, mm. then you should just be using Vulcan directly. And the, 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 this this is meant to sort of be a, a shim, a stopgap. So as you gain experience writing Vulcan shaders and doing the low level stuff, you don't have to necessarily rely on SDL's interface, but it provides one. Just so I, that you I, I still want to see visual. Vul- I want to see Vulcan blocks. Vulcan blocks. <laughs> Vulcan blocks. I mean, I mean, with with DXVK, regular regular Visual Studio is just Vulcan blocks <laughs> with Rust. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, you, you gotta check in with system 76 about that oh yeah it's time to do this thing is gonna make probably one of the best data center pcs no no this is this is oh this is this is this is you this is fine yeah like that yeah yeah i i will yeah making the same mistake that i make every fucking week whoops i thought we talked about this yeah. Um, but yeah, Summon Monsters. Uh, it is a fork of OpenYGO, which is a open source implementation of the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. You might remember it from after school uh, anime on your post. No, I didn't. Anime I just dropped this in the show notes to be like, hey, both of you fuckers like these card games. And turns out I got to inflict bonus damage. You inflicted some you drained all my fucking life <laughs> points, man. Yeah. So uh, here, here, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> this is primarily written in mono, uh, and PHP. Um, I tried to get this built. Um, uh, but here's the deal. There isn't really much in the way of installation instructions. So it was a lot of me poking around the build repo, realizing, Hey, these dot build files are actually bash scripts that <laughs> if you run them, they'll spit out mono executables that will then lead you to the next error. I eventually got to the point where like I needed, I was missing the card database. I theoretically could have run the thing. I think, I don't know. This is, I'm just reading console output at this point and rep- reporting back. Um, but yeah, uh, so I, I, apparently there's some utility for uh, generating the card database. It's written in PHP. It doesn't run on my system. So love I don't 2D. Fucking know. Dab. I haven't heard about that in a minute. Yeah. yeah. Love uh, done in Lua. So not, not time to do, 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 There's no hard of the card setting in the codes either. I don't, I don't know. Like, in, in, in principle, I, I like this sort of idea because like we've seen Cogatrice uh, or um, uh, or like Apprentice or other other programs that allow you to play stuff like Magic Gathering online without having to actually buy cards and whatnot. Having some sort of engine for playing something like Yu-Gi-Oh! It, again, it gives people more options if people want to like not have to deal with paying thousands of dollars for cardboard and just want to, you know, summon Exodia and scream obliterate. And then <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's yeah. there. They, could, they can free. definitely they can definitely use some build instructions though because I have no idea what the fuck is going on. But you know what? Maybe maybe you want to contribute to this. Maybe hey, maybe if you do, you go know. check out the show notes after the fact over at LinuxGameCast.com. Now, can we talk about quite possibly the handiest data center <laughs> portable PC that is oh, ever yes. data centered? Sure. Why? Yeah. So GBD is coming out with a new product called the GPD XP, or so. This thing is Android based, and uh, so I can it definitely shoots electricity. Yeah, it shoots electricity and Exodia cards at people, but uh, it's it's a pretty nifty looking little device. Like I was taking a look at it. Um, I believe they're running the what was it the the MediaTek Helio uh, G ninety five. What the cinnamon toast fuck is the button? Yeah, I know, right? That, <laughs> that, that that is for like Atari Jaguar shit, man. I saw that. And I'm like, huh. this, what the hell? <laughs> this 100. percent This is we have Nintendo Switch at home. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did they say like the maximum support for screens is, or is it like it's preset I mean, screen? Look, look at little buddy though. He's packing two ARM Cortex A76, yeah. and six A55s, and Mali GPU, six gigs of. I mean, seven thousand uh, yeah. milliamp battery. I like seeing that, man. I'm sure some enterprising hackers will get actual Linux running on it eventually. There's just no good games compiled for ARM. So I, yeah. I, I guess, yeah, you can you can play Dolphin games on them and emul- emulators and stuff. 
Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it's, it's not like the, um, it's not like the uh, GPD we covered last week, which I fucking actually want. Like, yeah. Well, that shit. one was yeah, made for one gaming. This one is made for yeah. actual serious work though. So. Yeah. If, if, if you want to do some software development. Yeah. With four yeah. buttons, five buttons. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> essentially yes I, i'm actively trying to figure out what the hell that button attachment's for and why it's it's <laughs> to like give your hand a little bit of space so you don't you don't sweat too much on the touch screen but i like sweating i don't uh, man i don't know i don't know you're, it, you're stealing it looks my like right you can to sweat <laughs> it looks like you can pull it out and slap someone with the other end of it before you stick <sighs> the other controller end on it so, yeah. you might be wondering, hey, how do you broadcast all this fun stuff? Well, these days we use a little program you might not have heard of. It's called Open Broadcaster, OBS, not Slobs, which is like some weird bastardized version of OBS. That is Windows only. We use the real thing from the sauce G- and uh, GNU OBS. GNU OBS? Possibly. And hey, you know what? Maybe you want to play the home game. Maybe you want to play around with it. You're new to Linux, and you're like, hey, man, I got my system set up, and uh, I want to do the streaming. Maybe I want to do some recording. Maybe I want to know, how do I set up the microphone? How do I set up an audio interface? And, uh, oh, I want to have those alerts and stuff pop up like a real boy or girl. I made a little video for you. First time set up with OBS. Linux Basics. Going to walk you through it, how to do it, in and out. And let's see, how, how short did I get? I got this one to seven minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to... Wow. Hey, we're, we're going to start with basics. Oh, yeah, I do that in all the videos. But, yeah, setting up drivers, webcam stuff, important things that I see no one covers is like, hey, what audio levels should I have? Oh, there's a handy one. And, um, yeah, just going through the installation, uh, which you should have, you know, for recording, all the other fun stuff. And um, there you go. LGC That's cares. pretty awesome. Look, uh, that's my it's, a hat. That's my hat. <laughs> it's a hat. It's a hat. And yeah, game capture. Cause that, you know, just, about, oh God, there's Pedro. Um, Oof. yep. Hey, how to do those overlays and all the other fun stuff, you know, basically from not to zero of, okay, I've opened OBS, but I want to do the, I'm down here in the corner. I want to be able to talk and I want to have a chat up and I want to stream a game. There you go. Mm-hmm. And I think you can take those little bits and work your way out from there. You know, that, that'll give you everything you're going to need. And since I know we're going to have a bunch of people that are going to be very Linux curious, I put this out as kind of a preemptive. I want to thank all of our patrons. The reason why we're able to do this stuff, A, but preemptive strike because the opportunistic uh, YouTubing crowd that are like, oh, Linux is going to be hot for a minute. Let's go make some bullshit. And I just want to <laughs> cut that off. Like at the fucking ankles, man. <laughs> like, don't, don't listen to these people. <laughs> They don't know what they're doing. Please, or you're going to listen to them anyway. Anyway, this will be here after you get done setting your shit on fire. How about that? Yeah. Also, you know, drop some notes in the comments, some other stuff, because the OBS Basics series is something I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep building on it. And every time I release one of these, somebody's like, how do you do the super complex stuff that you do? We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Baby, baby steps. steps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit from... Uh, Here's how you plug an interface to like, this is how you set up a low latency fiber optic audio network. There, there's a small space between that. And there's, there's a GUI yes. for it. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, still, it, it, you it, still got to learn. It, the... it, it's that fucky, um, what, what, what do you call it? The um, network GUI? Network GUI. Mm. The, there's a network for, GUI? Uh, no, for uh, your your router, what's what's the, what's it called? I'm spacing on the name. My... The one that is the fucked up interface? The Microtech. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, WinBox. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, and enjoy, enjoy setting that one up. No, baby, oh, no, that, that's why I have SSH enabled. Mm. Once you learn the microtic mm-hmm. way of doing stuff, it's close enough, close enough to Cisco that you'll fuck it up. Um, Excellent. <laughs> yes. Yes. Love to see it. That's going to do it for our news. Yeah, indeed. Coming up next, we're going to throw chairs at my favorite Schwarzenegger movie, End of Days. <laughs> Wait, no, what? End of, uh oh, Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh my god, it's the chairquisition. It's that thing where we take a game and we run it on a bunch of different Linux distributions with <gasps> radically different literal hardware. Witches. And literal witches. And then we tell you how it ran and if we liked it or not. Uh, this week we're taking a look at the end of Deuce Dias, 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 Dias,
done on, as far as I can tell, a custom engine. Uh, if you want to get back to us on that, send us some hate mail. Um, you can pick it up for about $14.99 US. What does it go in a quest, not on a quest, in a quest for Dias in a primitive encrypted open world face mysterious assailants in an intense fast paced sword fights and oh, survive no, we're against killing the killing our brothers. faunas. Will you uncover the truth about Deus? Uh, we got to thank uh, Cu- Curious Planet for sending us some keys for this. So I guess let's get into it. Uh, Ven, you died. How are oh, you man. doing, Debian? Can I do this in three minutes? Let's try it, kids. All right. Uh, is that clock right? Close enough. So uh, check it out. Over here on Debian 11 with a 2060 Threadripper 1920X through two gigajoules of RAM, all that fun stuff. Full screen causes all the monitors to flip right the hell out. I love seeing that out of the box. Not everybody plays on a laptop, kids. You should test for the situation. Now, there's a bunch of random resolutions uh, with the exception of 2160p under the Linux version. So, but if you're wondering about performance, it does hold 60 at 2160p. And how did I get it there? Well, I tapped that Proton button, fam, and it took care of everything. The controller does work if you want to play this with the X-Clone 1SX, but you got to play that mini game at the beginning where you try to uh, use the cursor with the analog stick to hit the start button that took longer than uh, Mm. pretty much anything else. Now to the game itself, the game proper, do you like small worlds filled with, well, kind of fucking all on a lot of death, not much going on in it. If I'm going to be honest, you run around and mostly those empty worlds, you loot some chest, you boop some baddies. I got a bone. I got a sword. I got a spear. I got a bow. I even got a shield. It looks like you get some guns later on. You're checking your game time on that, (laughs) but, Later on, I, I didn't get that far, Jordan. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get to the guns um, because you know the combat <laughs> with everything man, it falls into the uh, technically works category. I mean, it's there. You got bombs and like oil canisters and stuff to light uh, ants on fire with. Not in your pants, just on fire. Now everything can be killed to death with the uh, old-fashioned like boop backtrack boop strat. Everything guaranteed. It will work. Uh, old school coming right at us AI it sees you it's coming right for you man except for the archers the archers uh they kind of work in reverse they run directly away from you until they get to the end of their uh path and they either hang a left or a right once you figure out if they're going left or right they're easy enough to kill but uh then you get killed by flying creatures that you may or may not be able to see i really got pissed off a couple of times like that and look there's a dinosaur in the video i didn't even fuck with that thing um this thing's 14.99 the end of dais is and it very much, unfortunately, finds itself priced in the same category as Hollow Knight. Gentlemen, this is no Hollow Knight. Um, this, this is, uh, I don't know what to classify this as, uh, something to do for a few minutes but it's got some technical issues and like if the only way to get this thing to play in a multi-monitor system is to use the proton button game scope man man. uh yeah there's a lot going against this game uh i i can't recommend it sorry yeah, on Fedora 35, I got to get used to saying that now, Jesus Christ. 64-bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti's. Yeah, that uh, that full screen, it's, it's no bueno. Um, the game controls are wazzed, but uh, I, this didn't happen the second time I started the game. I How often did you try to jump? All the time, all the time. I keep hitting, I'm mashing that space button, especially with the flying enemies, because then you just got to wait for them to come down, and then... Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the game controls are in WAS. Uh, the prompts initially didn't say that. They were like, use W, Q, A, and S. And I'm like, that's not right. And WAS worked. So uh, I'm going to stick with that. Uh, the art style, I think, can be described as what if the Elder Scrolls Arena was made in Roblox? Um, it holds 60 at uh, 1080p. I did not play it at UHD full screen because I wanted the use of my other monitor for other stuff. Fun-wise, yeah, Dark Souls-style storytelling do be all the rage, but y'all realize they uh, each of these games have long-ass cinematics at the beginning, sort of explaining what the general conceit is. In this game, you get Fine Dias and a Windows 95 screensaver, and it's not very, not very informative. Um, and I get the point of the game is to explore and discover what it is you're supposed to be doing, but there is a note at the beginning of the game that tells you exactly what you need to be doing, and I missed it the first two times. I died, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, this is telling me what I need to do. I need to go find the fucking five crystals of deuce. 
Um, and then you go out in the world, and that's when the fighting starts. And you get some dudes, dudes with some knives and some spears, and they murder you because their reach is longer than you. You get a bow, but the bow aims like complete dog shit because you got to blame super low in order to like not have the arrow go like high and arcing all over the place. Crosshair. Right? Like, I, I would just like to know where you want me to point my mouse so I can shoot the thing. That would be very nice. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, and then I went into a church, and there was some motherfucker with a cannon, and he shot at me, and my shield wouldn't block it, and so I died. Um, the fighting isn't really great, and that's kind of what there is to this game. Uh, it's about on par with, like, first-person action games like Elder Scrolls, but no one really talks about how good the combat is in Elder Scrolls. People want the other shit, marrying lizard people and, like, turning into a werewolf, not actually swinging your sword. That's why everyone plays stealth archers and pyromages and shit, so that you don't actually have to do the fighting. Um, you don't actually lose a lot of progress when you die. Uh, you don't lose your items. You don't lose your money. You just lose where you were, and you gotta go find the bonfires. In this case, they're, like, wishing fountains. But let's be real. We've all played Dark Souls. They're fucking bonfires. Um, there's certainly a lot to do, but there is no hook to get you motivated. And based on the marketing copy, you're supposed to bring that motivation yourself, but it doesn't really suck a new player in. I'm gonna give it one chair. It's just kind of... Eh. <laughs> how about you, Sandy? Uh, so, here on uh, Pop OS 2104... Uh, I got the i7-9700F with the RTX 2060 Super. Uh, it runs right out of the box. You know, it's nothing too amazing. Uh, I found that uh, with the game pad, game pad support, uh, <clears throat> direct, uh, direct input didn't work right out of the box. I had to actually uh, set that up. Um, I never tried the X input, so apparently it, X input works. Um, resolution. So I had a weird issue with the resolution at the beginning. So I had set the resolution to 1920 by 1080. But uh, then when I exited the game and restarted, it went back to its default settings. I was like, so I, I, I wanted to talk about that because the resolution list I got when I started up the game was really normal. And I didn't get like the weird ass ones that Ben got. And when I saw your thing, like I fired it up again in 1080p windowed mode and it was still fine. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. And the, well, and plus when I tried to switch it to uh full screen mode, don't uh, let him distract you. He's causing you to run out of yeah, time. Exactly. So it, I got between like 49 to 54 frames per second. So it's like, it wasn't uh but as soon as I switched it to a lower resolution worked fine, 60 frames a second, it was back up to normal. Um, Music is pretty good. I enjoyed the music. Nothing amazing. Um, in terms of fun, uh, I got a lot of Legend of Zelda vibes from this game. Like, just the way that the shops were laid out and everything. Um, it was like, it was almost like the dev team went, yo, listen, listen to this. Legend of Zelda, but first person. Yeah? Let's do it. You know, uh, the game's got no sprinting. It's got no jumping. Like, I get that it's a thing for the type of game style to make it harder, which I can respect, but I don't know. I just didn't have that much fun with the game, and I don't think it's worth the price point. I'm going to give it one chair. Yeah, I, I, I definitely I see the Zelda inspiration because like you start off nowhere, oh, yeah. and you get like the it's dangerous to go alone. Take this and like, yeah, with, with, with the with the shops. And, and stuff. And when we say Zelda, track it back. Kids. We're talking about Zelda. Yeah. Uno. Ne, 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 ne Zelda. Mm -hmm. But like he, and here here's the thing, though, like, yes, that was bare bones, but that had to fit on a floppy disk. Like, we're, yes. How, how, how big is this game? How, how, how many? How, it's, it's a couple hundred megabytes. It's still much larger than the OG Legend of Zelda. Hey, but man, this, like, this would have fit on the N64 DD. The double D? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. The disk yeah. system. Yeah, um, for sure. But yeah, like, uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, we game design has progressed since then. And I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I read through a lot of the positive reviews, and a lot of them are happy about, like, oh, there's no hand holding. There's lots to explore, blah, blah, blah. So maybe if you're one of those players, this would appeal to you. But like, if you just want to sit and play a game, you kind of, you're, you're dropped in here and you're like, oh, well, what the fuck do I do? And then you die a bunch, right? Like there's oh, no real a lot of dying. Anymore. And I, I wasn't feeling like any story cohesion or just anything is like, here's a random area and here's another area. No, look, ants now. Oh, shit's killing me out of the sky. Yeah. I read a thing and bombs. Okay. I, uh, uh, that, hmm. I get it. It makes sense, I guess, if you're one of those old school type of players. But 
it's again, you need in this day and age, at least some sort of like direction is needed. You know what I mean? L- like something to convey a story. Right, like, wait, oh yeah. Wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. Every, you, everything tries to fucking kill you here too. Are, like, are that's, both of you trying to imply that you need a fucking owl to show up? Ooh, <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I, no, I, I need, Hey, this is pain. This is pain. Hey, this hey, is listen. pain. And yes, everything. And it's not, Everything is killing you very annoyingly. It's like, hey, I see target Vila. And yeah, and, and and then you take the damage and you're like, okay, shit, I gotta look out for it. But it's too late. Like, there's no, yeah. it, it, it's very, very punishing in terms of like, you did not play this before? Well, fuck you. I don't, I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. and to, to the storytelling again, boils back to, uh, yes, Dark Souls did the the scattered, like, little bits of text everywhere and pieced the story together. But again, like, they actually had it structured in a way where you had enough information primed that you actually have some desire to figure this out beyond windows 95 screensaver. And I, and I, I kind of want to know what's going on with like terrain generation. Cause there's a shitload of pop in on this thing. There, there definitely is for like mm. the, the Robloxy style graphics yeah, for like for what it is like, you should load all that, man. but you see the NPCs are like, and they just, yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> like, Oh, look, there's a group that just showed up and I That's died. An in army. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So there, uh, so there, there you go. Maybe, maybe end of DS two DS harder will be a little bit better. Coming up next, we got some, we got some hate mail. Ooh. You like what we did? I don't know. I bet you did. Well, are you Fred Durst? If you do, do you like want to come on the did. show? I know you didn't wash your damn hands. I did wash my hands. Bullshit. I think. I think. Give it a sniff. <laughs> but tell, tell, if you have a problem you with me not washing my hands, let me know. Write to Linux Gamecast. So if you head over to LinuxGamecast.com, click on the contact tab, come on down. There's a contact tab? Select... Yeah, there's a contact okay, tab. Well, it's not really That's, a tab. It's, it's a button. It's a, it's a button, button tab. tab. Yeah. Button tab? Button tab? A link? URL? Yeah. Uh-huh. A link? A URL? HTTP hyperlink? <laughs> <laughs> so within the contact page... You'll see some instructions if you're a developer. Uh, make sure you follow the instructions to a T. Otherwise, uh, the spam bot will uh, nuke you out of orbit. Uh, for everyone else, you know, select the show, what you want, what your message is, and uh, we'll be happy to read it out. I'm busy. Seems legit. All yeah, right. Yeah, legit. yeah, yeah. So I guess I guess our first hate mail comes from Mr. Frost Claw Twenty, Frosty the Claw Man, one of our lovely, lovely patrons, and he says, "Thank you for making my crappy New Jersey work commute a little bit more bearable." Heart emoji. Hey, I don't know, man. Uh, Fr- Frosty was like throwing out some love a little bit earlier, and you know what? This is something that I'm glad I'm able to provide because podcast did not exist. When I was yeah. stuck doing bullshits, I mean, I mean, four hours of just noise to right. plug into your you head know, with the devices to like handle. Like, I mean, I had a BlackBerry fucking curve and I was bleeding edge, man. You weren't fitting anything on that, but yeah. I'm, I'm glad I'm, we're able to do that. You know, just have the background and you can pick and choose, you know, if you want some technology type stuff or anything and doesn't cost anything, we appreciate it if it did, you know, Linux game cash. Um, but yeah, man, you're welcome. Like being stuck in commute traffic or just having manual labor jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Hells yeah. hundred percent. That's pretty decent. So uh, we we try. What do you listen to? Like for background noise, Sandy? I literally listen to Link Gamecast. Usually a lot of the tutorials that you do. Uh, it's good to get it mentally in the head. Okay, from like, the outside, like I hear. cannot imagine listening because even Pedro's like, Pedro's like, yeah, sometimes I go back and listen to the live and uncut stuff. I'm like, fucking, how do you do that, man? I check the fucking highlight reel. <laughs> that's that's what I do. The highlight it, reel? The honestly, beginning, middle, like, end? I don't know. Oh. When you listen to the live and uncut, it it's almost like you're listening to a conversation that's in the room with you that's while you're trying to do something. That's, that's the whole idea. Because I, yeah. I, I I do not like overproduced stuff. Yo, I, like I hate that stuff. Off. What do you listen to, Jordan, in the background? Um, Star Trek? it depends. Some sometimes Star Trek. Uh, sometimes I'll have like actual play D and D podcasts on just in the background. Oh. Uh, sometimes it'll just be like let's plays, just like random let's plays, just to have some noise playing. I found that my 
probably for the last uh, four or five weeks, my background noise is uh, Hitch on Twitch. He's a guy who started out as Canadian lad from mm. Vancouver, though, so I don't know if it really counts as Canadian. But he started out doing Barely. hitchhiking uh, across Canada. Then he drove his bike across Canada, and he's hitchhiked across the States and in Europe. And you know, during the pandemic, he's like, fuck, what do I do? I guess I'm just going to get on a bike and start driving places. And he was going through Portugal, you know, Twitch recommends We're like, Hey, there's, he's got a nice setup too with a behind the, uh, shoulder cam and all that. And I'm like, well, oh, fuck, nice. I'd like to learn about Portugal. I have not had access to anybody who knows fuck all about Portugal that will mention Portugal in 10 years. It's true. Yeah. So I learned, you know, I'm just like watching these stops and does all the shit. So yeah, there's my free plug right there for background noise during the day live and, or just watch the VODs or if you, uh, I sub to them. So I don't know, whatever. What do we have up next? Oh, right. All right. Secret sauce. So I'm not allowed to see it. Atomic ass slid, slid into my private messages. And he's like, yo, man, I got a request. And he says, hey, Sandy is filling in next Saturday, right? If I give you some feedback, would you keep it secret until Saturday? I want Sandy and Jordan to be surprised. It's my defense. I'm. I'm expecting a Vermeer esque erotic painting. No, is... I'm I'm kind of waiting for a butt plug or something along those butt lines. <laughs> I don't know. Do, do you think, <laughs> gentlemen, are you prepared Pencilgen. to be let down? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doctor Weird, give me some corn. <laughs> this is uh, this is what we came up with. Mom, can we have question mark? <laughs> no, we have at home. At home. <laughs> fair i like it i like it you know here's the here's the brilliant thing about this oh this is a and the tags are memes meme linux linux game cat oh there's six comments on this hello oh uh, i don't know who either of these people are <laughs> <laughs> mom your life mom. is poor for it <laughs> oh, atomic ass trying to trying to promote rep Rep. Nice, nice. Well, um, XX triple X ass clown. If you are here tonight, hello. <laughs> this is the thing, man. Uh, I'm going to very much enjoy the uh, looking at the metrics. This will be one of the few videos that will have a big spike in the hate mail because 99 percent of our audience is audio, and we didn't mention anything. I'm like the fuck are you talking about, you dumbasses? <laughs> You're gonna get a look at that. It's uh, yeah. I I, I was underwhelmed. <laughs> I was, yeah. I was expecting, given, given what Atomic Ass usually posts, I was expecting substantially worse. You know what? Yeah. It, it gets the point across. It gets the point across. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Uh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Right. See, I mean, you get to appreciate what you're given, not, not what you wish. Yeah. But- mm-hmm. I, 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 I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm going to be an entitled Linux user like that. Oh man. You better open up. <laughs> you better open up like three terminals, man. Mm. All right. Beautiful people. Gotta cue the music. We gotta bounce out of here for this evening. But thanks for showing up, watching us live on Twitch after the fact on demand, wherever you may be. If you want to get in touch with me, just uh, head over to Twitter. I'm doing the thing on the Twitter, man. Not at Vin Stone or just at Vin. If you're on the Mastodons at mast.linuxgamecast.com, send in a message using the contact form or leave a comment on Patreon or the YouTube. Yeah, that thing. I'm going to, I'm Jordan Svung. I'm so entitled. I'm going to switch from XFCE to my enlightenment fork called Entitlement. You can follow that journey at uh, The Burning Fool on Twitter or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. And you'll see me not wash my hands after I piss, but you can also tell me about it and on Twitter butt. at, <laughs> and my butt. <laughs> you can at me at Ultimagus on Twitter, or you can at me at Ultimore on uh, Mastodon. Dot Linux Gamecast dot com. Dot Linux Mass dot Linux Gamecast. We didn't learn anything. <laughs> this week, dot dot ma- I, I learned how to be a sheep. <laughs> uh, it's 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 a vial of carpet, like like a like a glass vial. Yes. Oh, oh okay. nice. All right, no one well, has to, How do you start? You can't sneak that in any other way. You gotta, you gotta sneak it inside, up the, up the bum bum. All right, we gotta thank our, uh, our lovely executive producers, our, our, I don't, nah, our advisors, Omegas, <laughs> our Theron, our executive producers, Aldius, Barb, Bram, Scott, Michaud, Mr. Fox, Dog, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, and Kohaku. 
Chicago kicks ass with the Dark Wings abstraction. Sea Monsters, Jack B. Renault L. Rider X Machina, Trage Veritanuta, Justin Frostclaw, and Strider. With the death notes, it's Nova K, Basil B, Chad P, Romeo V, Mars, uh, Marceline System T, Craig H, uh, Renee K, uh, Leonardo C. <laughs> God damn it! Leonardo DiCaprio! It's yeah. raining participation trophies this evening, gentlemen. Um, yeah. Hey, Rudy, Zeno, <laughs> Oil of Hope, Jim, we got fine up. Zeno, yep. incredible like lyric. Carl, Mike, Ryan Arthur, Aaron, Lennox, Nuru, Aldius, Noctilus, John, E. Shemp, and Game Mo. Tron. Yes. What he said. Fade away from Not it. related to Megatron. <laughs> nah, unrelated. Or is he? I don't know. Send, t- us some, send us some family reunion photos. If Game we see Motron. a giant fucking gun, we might know. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. Wrist mounted gun. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Later. Five dudes. <laughs> <laughs>